guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you can hear my dog eating her food in the background, I'm so sorry. She hasn't been eating all morning and the moment that I start to film, that's just how this works. That's just how this thing works. So, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Libby Rogers and I'm so excited for today's video because in today's video, we're gonna be talking all about the new e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. This has been out for a little while and this is my first chance to actually test it against the Tarte Shape Tape. I did this with the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Found <gasps> Concealer. I, I wear this all day with Tarte Shape Tape on the other side and I'm gonna do the same thing today. I'm going to really put this one to the test, see how it compares to the Tarte Shape Tape, but from what I've heard through the grapevine, this one is the most similar to Tarte Shape Tape. So I'm not gonna let that sway my opinion or anything, but I'm really excited to see how this kind of functions underneath the eyes. So if you guys wanna see me wear this concealer all day and see how it compares to the Tarte Shape Tape, then just go ahead and keep watching. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, I've already applied a light layer of foundation. I didn't do anything to full coverage or anything because I want to be able to cover up some blemishes on my face. I'm going to go ahead and read the claims on this foundation. Oh my this product retails for $5 on the e.l.f. website. And I'm sure it's probably a little bit more at Ulta. I picked it up at Ulta and I think it was maybe like $6. The details on this concealer say a full coverage 16 hour wear concealer featuring a large doe foot applicator to conceal, correct, contour, and highlight for flawless skin. The highly pigmented formula is lightweight, dries matte, and won't settle into fine lines or creases. Ideal for all skin types. So I opened it and swatched it a few days ago and like the tag thing broke off so that's why this isn't closing down but this is the packaging it's just very standard very pretty and then you take out the packaging and it is just a larger concealer bottle and up against tart shape tape this does differ a little bit more than the l'oreal full wear concealer the l'oreal full wear concealer looks identical basically to Tarte Shape Tape. Let me go ahead and pull that one up too. So you can see that, but that doesn't really matter to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the doe foots, how they look similar. So the doe foots look pretty much identical to one another. So these are definitely different colors. In Shape Tape, I'm gonna be wearing Fair, and in the e.l.f. Camel Concealer, I'm gonna be wearing Fair Warm, which is so light. I'm so excited. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to blemish cover with this but we're gonna try this is pretty much the only shade I saw at my Ulta so this is just what we're gonna work with today so I'm gonna go ahead and do Tarte Shape Tape first because this is just the one we know and love so I'm gonna go ahead and just put this underneath my eyes you guys can see how it blends out it's just so good it's just so good I have a very large Amazon order coming in today and I'm so excited not really all large but it's like five items I'm gonna be doing an Amazon favorites too pretty soon Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out. And with Tarte Shape Tape, I always have to go in just a little bit more in my deepest crevice because that never gets fully covered. So I'm just gonna go back in and right away blend that out. Okay, there we go, blend it out beautifully. This is the concealer I use. All the time so I know how it works so we're gonna go ahead in with the elf one now and this is gonna be lighter for sure so we're just gonna have to disregard the different color of it whoa this is so light wow this is so light which might be good for highlighting but I don't really ever highlight because I'm just so pale so this might be a good shade to use I might have to go up a couple for my like my blemishes and stuff so this one off of initial application seemed a little bit thinner than the Tarte Shape Tape but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing I always do with my concealers let it sit for just a couple seconds and then I'm gonna blend it out and if I need to add a little bit more we can do that and then we'll set everything down and see how it's looking okay that's been sitting for a couple seconds now I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out whoa Whoa, 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 whoa. This is going so far. I'm just gonna. Whoa, this is really drying down. Okay, so this side is blended out, and as you can see, it's definitely brighter, but that's because it is lighter in color. 
but I actually don't have to go in with the second layer on this one. This one's completely full coverage. Disclaimer, this dries down so quickly. I probably shouldn't have let it sit there for a couple seconds. I should have just blended it out. And I think that's why it looks a little dry, but nonetheless, it's still blended out just fine. But I wouldn't let this one sit at all. I would just blend it out. It's super high coverage so so now I'm gonna do some concealing I think I'm gonna just do concealing with the elf concealer we know how the Tarte Shape Tape works we know it works great I'm just gonna go in with this one because I don't have a whole lot of blemishes on this side but I do on this side so I'm just gonna go ahead and swap hopefully not confusing anyone but I'm no it's probably gonna be too light but I don't have any other shades so we're just gonna go in with a little bit of this here here that's pretty much it honestly okay and like I said I'm not gonna let this sit I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it out my technique go around the edges and blend out first and then lightly tap over the middle section Jeez, this dries so quickly like let me reiterate it dries so quickly that's it's almost it's almost it almost dries too quickly like that's obnoxious but I will say it did completely cover my blemishes and I think it would cover even better with a darker shade lighter the lighter you go it seems like the less coverage things have so that's just something i've noticed with my pale skin so now what i'm going to do is i'm actually just going to set my eyes normally i'm not going to bake or anything because since the elf concealer is already such a dry formula so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take my number seven powder and i'm just gonna set my under eyes first i'm gonna make sure my creasing out Okay, so I've set those under eyes and you can see in the close-up that they look pretty similar. They don't really look a whole different, a whole lot different underneath the eyes. I will say I think that the Tarte Shape Tape still looks a little bit more full coverage and a little less cakey. It looks a little more hydrating than the Elf side. Um, but with that being said, if you can't spend the $27 on the Tarte Shape Tape, then the e.l.f. one is going to be a good concealer either way. But we are going to do a wear test throughout the day. But I'm going to finish up the rest of my makeup, and I figured since we're using e.l.f. products, I might as well just go ahead and use some other e.l.f. products as well. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go in with my eyes really quickly. I'm not going to do anything major. I'm probably just going to put like one shade all over my eyes. I am going to prime them regardless. I think for my eyes today, I'm just going to go in with Daring all over the eyes right here. I'm just gonna apply some Milani highly rated mascara to my bottom and my upper lashes. top and bottom lashes but I'm actually gonna go in with my L'Oreal telescopic on my bottom lashes I absolutely love this color it is so pretty Dagum. you go elf okay so now I'm gonna go in with some bronzer and I'm gonna be going into the elf contour palette just like this and I'm going to be using my favorite bronzer brush, which happens to be an e.l.f. brush. And I'm going to dip into this shade right here. Bronze up my face. This is a definitely a lighter bronzer, but it is kind of more of an orangey bronzer. But it's not too, too orangey. And now I'm going to be going in with blush. And I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Berry Mary blush. I'm going to be using that on an e.l.f. blush brush. Which I use more for so for like setting, setting brushes, but... 
it'll work today for blush. Okay, now I'm going to set my face. I don't have an elf setting spray, so I'm just going to go ahead and spray my face, and then we'll do some highlighter. Okay, next we're going to go in with highlighter, and I've talked about this product so many times on my channel. This is the e.l.f. Baked Highlighter in Moonlight Pearls, and this is a stunning highlight. It's $3, and you just have to scrape off the top layer, give it a little chance, and then it will blow your mind. It's so good. We're just going to use my A23 brush for this. And I'm also going to apply this highlighter in my inner corners to act as a inner corner highlight. I'm just going to put that on there with my finger. Ooh, we are so glowy. Now onto lips. And for lips, I'm going to be using the Beautifully Bare Satin Lipstick in the shade Touch of Nude. This is living in my purse. I, I literally had to go downstairs to get this because it's in my purse at all times. It is one of my favorite nude lipsticks of all time and it is like three dollars and I'm just gonna apply this and then I think I'm gonna apply a gloss on top. So let me just apply this guy. Do you guys see how beautiful that is? It's so creamy, so beautiful. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I know this is a concealer review but daggum. These products are so good. So now I have a couple glosses from them, which I don't know which one I want to use. I think I want to go with the clear one. So I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss in the shade Peach Bellini. Okay, so this is the look that I created with pretty much all e.l.f. products, but the main concern is the concealer, and it is 1224. I don't know if you can see that. It is 1224, and I'm going to have this on all day, hopefully for at least 10 hours. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hello, I'm here for my first check-in. I'm next to my window so that I can show you guys in natural lighting what my under eyes are looking like. So let's go ahead and kind of look up close. So this is the elf side and this is the tart side. So you can see that there's a little bit of extra darkness on this side. I'm not sure why that is, but my blemishes are still completely covered on both sides. I didn't cover this guy and I think I covered this guy. I think I did, I'm not sure. But anyway, um, this natural lighting is really good about showing what your skin actually looks like and everything else is still looking really good. My eyeshadow is still fully on. My highlighter still looks good. Everything on my face is still completely on. My lips have worn off a little bit because I've eaten, but yeah, the under eyes looking, are looking really, really good. I don't really see any creasing or anything on my under eyes at all. So yeah, that's it for now. Oh, did I even tell you what time it was? <laughs> it is like 5.50. Look, my mom's little Minnie Mouse. Hello. My mom's little Minnie Mouse watch. I probably, I'm going to try and do at least another check-in, but if my eyes don't change enough, my under eyes don't change enough in that time, then I'll just do my final check-in. So I'll see you guys then. Bye. Hi, I'm back. I look a hot mess, but the concealers do not. So let me get an up-close mirror. I don't have one, of course. Okay, let's check this out, shall we? So I'm gonna put the up, the up close on and while I'm doing that, I'm gonna talk about what I see. Honestly, they look very similar. Do they look identical? No. Do they look similar? Yes. They are very similar concealers. I think that if you do like the Tarte Shape Tape, then you will absolutely like this e.l.f. one. I don't see any different wear and tear. They both creased a little bit, not too bad. I honestly can't even tell a difference at this point. So that's super good. I'm so glad that I got to try this out. I think I am gonna, if anything, go and get a darker shade of this. I really like the shade of the L'Oreal one. So I will definitely have to get a darker shade and then I'll keep this one as well just for highlighting and everything. But honestly, I really like this concealer a lot. So, and for five dollars, for five dollars, this is ridiculous. Like, that's just so good. So, yeah, I really think that this looks great. I definitely think that it is worth the purchase. I think that you can't go wrong with either of these, the L'Oreal or the e.l.f. concealer. I know this is an e.l.f. review, but I'm just, or the Tarte Shape Tape. They're all really great concealers. I think Tarte is still the best, but I think these are so similar 
that you can definitely get away with the same effect with using these and this one is so much cheaper than this one I think this one's like ten dollars and this one's like five so honestly I think it's such a good concealer for the price and yeah so that is it for this video if you guys liked it please make sure to is it raining that's so intense oh my gosh okay anyway back to what I was saying. If you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up before you leave. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And once you have subscribed, please make sure to turn on the little bell notification so you're notified every single time I upload. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.